Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be looking again at the daily RSI downtrend. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the sale on the premium list if you've been waiting to get in on that. We have a sale going on right now. You can find a link to that in the description below as well. Let's go ahead and jump in. So Bitcoin is still technically in a downtrend, okay? Technically, we are still in a downtrend. Again, being technically correct is always the best way to be correct. Now, if we go look at the RSI, you'll notice on the daily time frame that there's a general downtrend, okay? And one of the things we can do, um, I'll go ahead and change the color of this so you guys can see it uh, a little bit better. So we'll change it to this color here. And if we draw our imaginary line in the sand, which you guys know we're all about drawing imaginary lines in the sand here, and we change that color so you can see it a little bit better, you'll notice, generally speaking, that we are putting in lower highs. Okay, lower highs after lower high after lower high. You know, this first one was in, in January of 2021. So arguably, this was when the bulls were showing the most strength. Okay, and you might say, well, Ben, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. You know, we went up much higher than 42K. You know, what's this guy smoking? We went up to 64K. Well, that is true. But the argument, I think, is that before, you know, before this, the bears weren't really there. I mean, you know, I mean, it was basically just straight up. You know, I've, I've often said nothing goes up, up monotonically, uh, but from October until January, Bitcoin was more or less like hold my beer and I'll show you what going up monotonically means. So that move was really, really strong. And the daily RSI was about, you know, right at around 90. The next move that took us up to a modest $58,000, the daily RSI had come down to around 80. And then the next one was even weaker. Okay. okay, and we were even talking about this when we were back up here. We were noting that, you know, we were putting in new all-time highs, but they weren't that impressive, right? I mean, like, okay, we went up $3,000. Like, who's getting out of bed for another $3,000 move? And then at 64K, we went up another $3,000. So each of these moves, as you can see, we were dropping down on the daily RSI. And then on the peak, in mid-April, the daily RSI was all the way down here at below 70. And the one before that was at around 73 or so. And then we had this sort of final peak in our four-peak plateau here uh, at 60K, which corresponded to a daily RSI of 56. We didn't even make it back up to the trend line, okay? We just fell off a cliff. And then from there, we had all these little moves, and this was actually a downtrend, but the, the, the daily RSI was moving up. And then we had this move here that peaked out at around 41K or so, or just above 41K. But ultimately speaking, we were unable to put in a higher high. Even if you compare that one to the one we had had a few weeks ago, we still were unable to put in a higher high. And since then, you can see we're just continuing to trend down. So, has the move today been nice? Has it been nice? Well, it has. I mean, it has been nice uh, to see, you know, to see the valuation of Bitcoin move up. We went up about 8% um, yesterday, I should say, because we are in a new day now. We went up about 8%. So far on the day, we're about, we're down about minus 0.73% or so. But so far, we have not broken this downtrend. Now, I told you guys, um, a couple months ago, back in you know, back in May, uh, that I expected a brief bear market, and the first thing we need to do before we have any hopes of coming out of this phase of the cycle is to actually break through this and put in a higher high. Now, the hard thing with imaginary lines in the sand is you can draw them however you want to, right? If you wanted to connect the first two points you could argue that we could go up, you know, up to maybe a daily RSI of 50 before we are actually touching it. If you wanted to try to get a few more points on there, you could argue that we're already testing it now. So that's the problem with lines in the sand, as we know. 
However, what's not a line in the sand is maybe looking at the fact that, well, we can at least look at what the prior daily RSIs are or what they were. And if we're able to go back up into this region over here, then clearly we've broken the trend. Or the other way we break the trend is, you know, maybe we break it and then we don't actually immediately put in new all time highs, but we sort of just break out of this this rut that we're in and we, we go sideways for a while, you know, and, and we just have this long accumulation phase uh, for Bitcoin where we are able to break out of this downtrend. Now, again, a lot of people don't like to call this a bear market. To me, you know, if you just look at this, like when we said expect a three to six month bear market, it's hard to look at this and say, yeah, like that looks like a bull market. I mean, I would agree that in the grand scheme of the cycle, uh, we still have a ways to go. But I would also point out that most people, when looking at 55% drops that are sustained over several months, would not just call that a minor dip. They would say that that's when the market is bearish. Um, and so I'm an advocate, again, of just calling it what it is, but also recognizing that bearish times in the market represent opportunities. And the people that do the best in the bull market are the people that stick around when things are bearish. I do not think the bear market is going to drag out for years and years and years. I don't think we're going to have to wait three to four years to put in new all-time highs. But I, I did say back then to expect a three to six month bear market, or if you want to be optimistic, let's just call it a lull in the market. Um, so what I would say again with the daily RSI is we want to see our we want to see it break through our imaginary line in the sand. And so arguably to do that, we need to be breaking well above. Uh, you know, $33,000 or higher, like 34. If we're going to 35K in a day or two, then, you know, there's a good chance we're breaking through this downtrend. If we just go back up to 33K, then this again is going to just be nothing more than a rounding error in terms of, in terms of our imaginary line in the sand. So we're not out of the woods yet in terms of turning this momentum around. Obviously, people are excited because it's, you know, when Bitcoin's up 8% after dropping 55%, it's, you know, kind of nice. Sort of like saying, you know, while we might still be down 50% from the prior all-time high, we're up 8% on the day, which is nice. Um, so let's not lose sight of, of where we are in the cycle. And, and also try to recognize that, you know, we, we discussed the implications of, of this, this sort of intermediate bear market. We're living through it now. And I think one day, you know, I, I think one day in the not so distant future, we'll come out the other side. But there's still theoretically more downside risk. Um, and even if there's not more downside risk, I would still argue that in terms of accumulation, we still have a long way to go before we're able to, you know, you know, move up to the 60K, you know, back to the 60K price area and then break it and then continue to put in higher highs um, and new all time highs for that matter. So we have a long way to go. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the daily RSI. We are still technically in a downtrend. At some point, we will break it. And then at that point, we can reassess where we are in the cycle and, and try to discuss the implications of what that may bring. If you guys like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember to check out the sale on the premium list. If you want to know how I'm navigating these markets, you'll get access to weekly reports and videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, and more. If you go, you can find a link to the sale in the description below, but if you go to intothecryptoverse.com, you'll also get a, a preview of, of what it entails. Thank you guys for tuning in. Definitely subscribe. Let's go for half a million subscribers. Click the bell icon to turn on your notifications, and I will see you next time. Bye.